Today's topic is about the make of the cross slide and in this picture you can see the parts that I've cut beforehand in preparation of this job. So let's get started! As shown in a previous episode, link in the description, I've already prepared the side surfaces of the slideways and the next step is to assemble everything together. My technique is to connect the parts together with no welding to avoid any deformation. So the first operation is to degrease very well each part with acetone. Once degreased the surfaces are roughened to let the resin have a good grip and they are washed again a second time to remove the dust and any residual grease or oil. The plate you see on the table will form the base of the cross slide ways. It will assume a U shape and these two bronze nuts will be used to carry the sled back and forward over the slide ways. They are the four used as a spacer and I added turn of electrical tape to create a slightly larger gap. It's time to spread the resin. It is a two-component epoxy that is used to glue the parts together. It comes into this double syringe, so an equal amount of both components can be squeezed out at the same time. And uh, in place of preparing this compound into an intermediate container, I'd rather put it directly to the parts uh, to speed up the work. The first two bars are attached to the base. It is a pretty simple task, just make sure the glue is smeared between the elements. Also, these spacers are used to create a correct alignment with the base. It just requires a little bit of accuracy in doing the job. The resin takes a couple of hours to set, so there's nothing more that can be done now but cleaning the tools with a mixture of acetone and 96% rubbing alcohol. The first stage is done and the bars are firmly glued on top of the base plate. Uh, so a new layer of glue is laid down on top of the bars to attach the slide ways. And uh, you see here I'm mixing the two components of the resin and smearing it directly on the piece uh, to reduce uh, waste of resin and speed up the work. And smearing the glue more times also makes the two components be mixed very well. Only then the slide ways can be positioned on top uh, and this is a, a critical task because the two slide ways need to be perfectly aligned. So I inserted again uh, the two nuts as a, an aid to help me find the correct location and once found they need to keep to be kept in position. So uh, just in a few moments, uh, as soon as I finish it to smear the glue also on this side and the second uh, slide way is positioned, positioned on top, uh, you will see I use a, a couple of clamps and another piece of steel uh, used as a weight uh, to keep uh, everything in position uh, and avoid any movement and uh, and then with the aid of a decent caliper I managed to make the important distance 
between the opposite faces of the two slide ways as most accurate as possible. Uh, so I did my best to keep them at plus minus one hundredth of a millimeter, which is 0.4 um, thousandth of, a, of an inch. And um, uh, the two opposite faces are the most important distance because they create the rail over which the sled will travel. Uh, and any divergence from the best parallelism will cause the sled to jam. So you will understand why uh, this is so important. The glue takes a, a couple of hours to, to set, but uh, it takes uh, more than 24 hours to, to, to harden completely. And this is the final result, uh, as you can see here, which is pretty awesome in my opinion. <laughs> Epoxy resin uh, is not enough to keep uh, everything uh, uh, assembled together, of course. Uh, so um, a series of pins and uh, screws will be uh, put uh, in place. Uh, uh, and, uh, and this is the stage uh, where uh, I'm gonna make the the holes uh, uh, to insert uh, these pins and uh, screws. As you can see, a lot of holes have been uh, already drilled, and uh, in this phase, I'm gonna to enlarge some holes uh, that will host the screws, and uh, the holes will be enlarged to a precise depth so that the screws will uh, move freely uh, on the top side up to the point where the hole is stopped so uh, the screws will, uh, um, will squeeze this uh, metal sandwich uh. After having tapped the holes, uh, uh, this uh, small electronic drill comes very handy for the task of, of the burring.
the last pass is just to clean up the material. A lot of metal that has need to be cleaned up. To reduce the amount of work required to make flat the top sides of the slideways, uh, I've decided to remove uh, uh, half a millimeter uh, from two stripes uh, um, at the center, located at the center of the cross slide, where the uh, screws and uh, the pins are located. So this will make the um, stripes uh, at the extremes that will be in contact with the jib of the sled uh, rised and, um, and this will uh, ease the job to make them flat. The last operation was to uh, make the top surface uh, of the slideways uh, flat and parallel. So I used my reference surface plate uh, to check against it and uh, a, a lot of passes of scraping the metal uh, to reach the, the best possible and reasonable flatness. And finally, I got the idea to cover, to plate the non-flat surfaces with uh, copper uh, by using a simple technique of electroplating uh, that might be uh, in a future video, I will show you how it works. And let me know in the comment section below if you are interested in this topic. It is not possible to cover in this video even this lead part of the cross slide because it takes uh, 20 more minutes. Uh, so I split uh, the, into another video that I post uh, next week. Uh, in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please consider to click like and uh, sh share the video with your friends. And as always, uh, your comments are welcome. Also to avoid to miss uh, next videos, consider to subscribe and click the bell icon, otherwise YouTube won't tell you when a new upload is available. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye! It is really beautiful. And it, it is actual copper. Covered with uh, a little bit of oil just for protection. Nice.